lit in the Superdome, count on the Saints to be blessed. New Orleans had a tall task today to waylay the Cleveland Browns, but they were ready as they looked like they were playing on a much higher field than that one in the Superdome. First quarter, Saints running the ball. Look at Reuben Mays, second-year man from Washington State. And, Tom, it's tough to catch a guy that has moves like this and power like this. Well, tough to catch him and a guy that big. I don't know if you want to catch him. He's as hard <laughs> to bring down as any back in the league. 147 yards today. That was a 26-yard gain. Second quarter with the Saints leading 7-0. Bernie Kosar to Clarence Weathers and an 88-yard drive. Tied the game at 7 at the half. After a Mac fumble on the first drive of the uh, second half for Cleveland, Bobby Hebert goes to work. Look at the catch by Mike Jones, who takes a belt from Frank Minifield, but he holds on. Gain of 11 on a first down. Next play from the 17-yard line, Hebert, play action. Clancy pressures him, but looks in the corner to his tight end, Colby Brenner, who caught two touchdown passes. That a beautiful play. 14-7 Saints, they're indoors, but so what? The umbrellas were out. I told you they're blessed. Kozar and the Browns coming right back. Second and one from the 30. Surprise, they're going to pass. Brian Brennan, touchdown. Once again, Cleveland comes from behind and not the game at 14 all. Third and goal from the five-yard line. Here come the Saints. Bear from the spread. Watch the inside hand up to Dalton Hilliard and the rookie guard 65, Steve Trapeo, with a nice block. Fourth quarter, third and goal from the three. Bernie Kosar. A nice block by Dan Pike on Sam Mills, and we are tied again at 21 all. The Browns have their backs to the wall on the six-yard line. Kozar back to pass. Bruce Clark, number 75, gets him in the grasp. They call a safety in the fourth quarter. Marty Schottenheimer cannot believe it because the Saints have gone up 23-21 in the grasp rule, Tom. What do you think of that rule? Well, it's purely a judgment call. Had the call gone the other way or had Kozar gotten hurt, then you see a Schottenheimer outraged at the refs for not calling. You're right. Special teams played a big role for New Orleans. Brian Hansen's punt hangs. Ricky Jackson, perhaps the best defensive player on the Saints. He's on teams. Look at the play he makes to keep it out of the end zone. Vaughn Johnson nails it at the one. Once again, Saints defense goes after Kosar after that play. Kosar is nearly broken in half on the safety blitz by Brett Maxey. Fumbles out of the end zone. Two safeties, 25-21 Saints. Now after a Morton Anderson field goal gives them a seven-point lead. The Saints try to pressure the Browns with Bernie Kozar to Ernest Biner on the screen. Breaks a couple of tackles, heads for the sidelines. Nine seconds to go, first to 10 Cleveland. First Hail Mary. Webster Slaughter, Reggie Langhorn, and Clarence Weather in the end zone. Ball is tipped once, twice. Stripped by Johnny Poe. And it is knocked out. Here is the next one. Kozar deep again. And the Saints withstand two Hail Marys. And the Saints have upset, yes, Faith, Hope, and the Pope. Could this be the year that New Orleans finally goes over 500? It could be. Jim Moore and company look like they know what they're doing as they win at home over the Cleveland Browns 28-21. And in this ball game, Tom, Cleveland never began a drive uh, farther than their 20-yard line. So obviously defense and special teams, when you force Kozar and the offense to make moves like that, you're putting a heck of a lot of pressure on the opposing offense. Well, when you force any team to try to drive 89 yards to score, they're going to have problems. I still think, though, psychologically, they may not have recovered from what happened to them last year. Now, they play the Broncos in the third week of the season. Now, I hate to say looking forward to a game when it's week one. Could that be possible? It's a Monday night game. I don't think so. I think they, they, the Saints just played a little bit better than they thought they would. And uh, the Broncos, they certainly will have a revenge motive when they meet the Broncos, but they're not thinking about that right now. All right, Tom. So the Cleveland Browns, the lone AFC Central team, expected to win all the time. They're the ones that get off on.